bad songs existed before computers ruined music. Welcome back to a series where you guys choose a year and I select a terrible song that charted as a hit. To show music fans that say new music doesn't hold up, that there was plenty of garbage clogging the airwaves back in the day. For this video, I'm tackling 1986. One commenter had said he and a friend were having a hard time thinking of a bad song from that year. Respectfully? I had quite a few to choose from. My pick for the worst hit of the year peaked at number 32 on the Billboard Hot 100 in April of 1986. It is the only US hit from an Austrian group that, believe it or not, is still releasing albums to this day. For me, this particular tune falls short due to its simplicity and repetition. If you listen to the first 30 seconds of this song, you have ingested all of the content that it contains. It only has one verse, and it's basically nonsense. And while other European groups like Roxette made gibberish lyrics cool, this one just repeats nonsense pseudo-inspirational phrases over and over. My pick for the worst hit song of 1986 is Live Is Life by Opus. And while the song is definitely easy to sing along to, it's actually sung at European soccer stadiums to this day, the lyrical substance is definitely lacking. Also, dishonorable mentions for 1986 go to Party All the Time by Eddie Murphy, and We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off by Jermaine Stewart. If you enjoy this kind of video, leave a year in the comments and I will tackle more terrible chart toppers as a way to prove the 